Kobe Mino is the only one, like since Mason Greenwood, yeah, where I'm like, cool, he belongs here, hundred percent. I don't have no no doubts. I don't have no reservations. Do you know what I'm saying? Everyone else, yeah. like, man, not really, man, not really sure in it. Kobe's thirty, bro. Like he's got certain qualities that I haven't seen in other players in it. Like Pelistri's got something, but I don't know if that something's going to be good enough to keep him in a Man United team. I think with Pelistri, what he's very good at is the basics, and I think sometimes you need those players that are that are very good at doing the basics. His his basics are being quick down the right hand side, get to the byline, cross it in. That's what he's good at. So if you can utilize that today, especially with Hoyland in the in the box, who's still who's yet to get served properly, why not, man? Why not? Yeah, hundred percent. But we don't. You know, it sounds mad, but we don't even know if this you can even head the ball, blood. You know, like that. You know, you know, like that, bro. Like everyone no, making was that was so random, bro. <laughs> no, nah, but but no, but bro, man, are making bare assumptions. We don't even know if this prayer can head the ball, like you know what I'm saying, like you know, bro. But no, nah, I'm being real because, bro, he scores goals, yeah. But like, fam, last season, yeah, the Bears scored, yeah, I think like nine goals or something like that. Yeah, nine goals, yeah. You see what I mean? And then, fam, like. Bro, I don't even I haven't even seen him win a flick on blood. I don't even know if he can hit the pool. Like, you know, when everyone's <laughs> like, oh, like men are like, yeah, men are like, yeah, Palestri, yeah, like gonna gonna be feeding him. We don't even know if he can hit the ball. No, I think we he don't can. know. I think he can. I think he can. If you if you're six three, a striker, and you can't hit the ball, there's a problem in it. Bro, bro, you should never problem. know though, but you don't know though, blood. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Henry <laughs> weren't good in the air, bro. You know, like that. So that's, you know what? That's a fair point. That's a do you know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, it's not a given, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. actually not a given that that this guy. Can, I swear, I've seen him score a header for like Denmark or something. I, I don't like, know, blood. I, but we don't know, <laughs> blood. Like, it's all speculation, fam. You know, like that. It's all speculation. Let's keep it hundred. It's speculation. We don't really know. I like Beggles for six foot six, blood, and you weren't no aerial threat. That's it, man. But no, I think I think he can, bro. I think he can head the ball. I think he can. Someone oh, said Aaron, someone said Aaron Benteke was horrid in the air. He was, I can't lie. He was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Rashford's six foot one, useless in the air. Like, and there's a lot lot of modern attackers that aren't good in the air, bro. That's you know the one saying? that kills me, bro. I'm I'm just I'm just thinking if Rashford added head into his game, bro, pause. That would be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, but even but score. even if he could head the ball, I'll be real. Yeah, he's not even smart enough to get in positions to score headers. Like, that's the that's the problem. But because the thing is, scoring like scoring headers, yeah, is all about anticipation and positioning more than it is the actual technique of heading yeah, the yeah, ball, bro. Like it's yeah. making sure you're in the right in the right areas. Do you know what I mean? Because Dwight York, yeah, like oh, he was great. In Dwight the York was unreal in the air, bro. And Dwight yeah, York. Yeah. If Dwight York was six foot, he was only six foot. I don't. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mm -hmm. even think. I think he was under six foot. Dwight York. I think Dwight York. I think Dwight York's probably like five ten, five eleven. I think. I don't think he Something was like six that. foot. Yeah. I don't think he was six foot. Do you know what I'm saying? And look at Michael <clears> Owen <throat> scored loads of headers. And Michael Owen five foot like seven or something like that. So it's not about. It's not about your height. It's about positioning more than more than ever. Do you know what I mean? So That's it, man. it's 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 that it's because of. It's because Rashford has, and I've said this a million times, he's got this obsession with scoring the same goals over and over again. And I don't know why. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, remember that goal that he scored? I think it was under Mourinho. We played Liverpool at home. Long ball from De Gea. Lukaku heads it. It falls to Rashford. He skins um, Trent, and then he just blasts it in, like, bottom right corner. So I feel like he's trying to score that same goal season mm. after season. And I don't know why, bro. And I looked at some of the goals that he scored last season, yeah? The goal against Arsenal, cut and shoot. The goal against Nottingham Forest, away, solo, cut yeah, and shoot. The, yeah, the, the, the goal, Trent brace where he spun Trent. It's just the same goals he scored the same goal. The, 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 goal, the, the goal where he was late and he was on the bench against Wolves, away. Comes on, cut and shoot. It's the same goal, bro. And I feel like he's trying to score that same goal. And I'm just like, bro, you know you can score different goals. Like, you don't have to, say, you don't have to score the same goals every time, you know? Yeah, but like, this is why. But this is why when people, when people talk about finishers, yeah, if you score the same goal all the time, that don't mean you're a good finisher, bro. Like that's just volume. You know, yeah, like that, yeah. that's just all that is is volume, bro. Like he's not a good finisher. Like 
Do you know what I mean? I see these guys disputing their FIFA stats, saying, oh, my shooting's this and my shooting's that. Your shooting ain't that good. Most of the time you shoot, you don't hit the target. Do you know what I mean? Players <clears> with good <throat> shooting hit the target more than they don't hit the target. Rashford yeah. misses the target more than he hits it. So how can you have good shooting? You know, like that. He strikes the ball well, but there's no point striking the ball well, yeah, if you don't hit the target. Can't hit the target. Right? Facts. Do you know what I mean? Like, like what yeah. does it mean? Like, Michael Carrick struck the ball well, yeah, but he, he, was, a, he was crap at shooting, bruv. That you wasn't his saying? best attribute. That's but it. That weren't his bag, bro. Like he couldn't mm -hmm. score goals. You know what I mean? And he was someone that could play long passes, um, short passes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But he just, but man, just missing the target habitually. So, mm. I like it's, ah, bro. Like these men are extremely limited. That's just exactly what it is. And when players are extremely limited, you need to make sure that everything around them is set up a certain way in order for them to thrive. That's just how it is. That's it, man. That's it. And I think at the age of almost, was it 26? Rashford is, yeah, uh, yeah. 26 turning, in November turning 26, or something like that. Um, 31st of October. He's uh, checked it out okay. uh, today. Okay. He's turning 26. And I think there's certain things at the age of 26 you can't teach a man anymore. It's too late for that. Bro, you, you there's certain man, things at late. 16 you can't teach a man, blood, when it comes it's, to football. Especially with football now. Nowadays, yeah. bro, at 16, if you still have, a, have to teach a man a striker positioning in the box at the age of 17, bro, it's too late too mm. late because that should have been bro that that should have been in your own time if anything that's that's your homework you need to work on that when you don't train with the club and now at the age of 26 you still positioning is still not good hitting the target still not good mm. um decision making still not it's too late bro it's like it's like lukaku basically remember hey, when lukaku, we were, lukaku's finito mem, bro at mem, the top level, he he's already at, finished i remember you were saying that when he was at united bro you mm. were saying that you were saying that there's certain things that Lukaku you can't teach him anymore because you're yeah. you're at one of the biggest clubs in the world, bro. Like it's too late now. Positioning, mm. finishing, decision making, like these things are too late for that. So too now late. you just you just have to ride it out, and it's the same with Rashford. But this is it. Twenty six is not young, bro. Twenty six is not young, bro. Like not it's in not football. man. Do you know what I mean? It might be young in life. It's not young in football. This brother's played yeah hundreds of games in the Premier League. Like, bro, remember what remember what Mourinho said? Yeah. When Mourinho was like, oh, are people saying Rashford is he's not young, bro. bro Mourinho he... said, yo, you're a big man, fam. You know what big I mean? You've been man, playing you Premier know. League football since you was 18 years old, blood. Now, how can man be eight years deep in the Prem talk about he's young? You and ain't if, young, blood. And if there's anyone that can't complain about game time, it's Rashford, bro, because he's played a Bro, and he's played crazy man. minutes. Bro, and he's he's been, I would say, in the last five six years he's probably played the most games mm. out of everyone that we've seen come and go at our club Rashford mm. has always been a starter if he's not starting he's he's off the bench and he, when he's off the bench he gets a substantial amount of minutes always half an hour mi like half an hour minimum mm. and he's never really been on the bench consistently apart from when Mourinho came in and he was switching between him and Martial on the mm. left wing do you know what I mean bro Rashford's played some bro he's played minutes bro he's played minutes yeah, and even, go, even this really, even this prime football years nonsense, bro. Well, twenty six ain't and twenty six ain't prime blood. You know them ones. Back in the day, twenty six used to be prime. Yeah, players weren't breaking into men's football at sixteen, seventeen years old. Back in the day, it was an yeah. anomaly. Yeah, yeah. Now you're seeing right. eighteen year olds playing regularly. Eighteen, nineteen year olds regularly playing, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And even when man talk about prime, yeah. Bro, Rooney's prime wasn't 26. Rooney's prime was 21 years old, blood. Yes. 20 years old. Yeah. Skinhead Rooney, blood. Now, yeah. you know them on Skinhead Wayne Rooney, fam. Like, that was his prime. His prime was Euro 2004 before he busts his foot, blood, when some people were saying he was the best player in the world, bruv. Like, stop yeah. pretending. This ain't back in the day. Rooney, this Rooney's ain't back prime in the day, blood, when 30-year-old, yeah, <laughs> you buy 30-year-old strikers talking about they're in their prime at 30, bro. Now... Yeah. At 30 years old, blood, you're on the way out, cuz, that in football. Like, it's not it's not that. You don't sign 30-year-olds in football. Now, a lot of football clubs have a thing where they don't offer contracts more than a year to players mm. 30 and above, bro. Like, football's completely know. changed now. Yeah. Do you know what I'm know. saying? So, n none of this uh, 26 is prime now, nah, bro. When you are... Uh, Mbappe's in his prime right now. You know, like that. That like, these footballers... What, 23, 24... Exactly, and he's pace reliant. Mm. So your prime is, you see, when you're a player that's relying on pace, your prime is a lot earlier, blood. Mm. You know, like that. Players like Theo Walker and them, man, 
their prime was when they were at their peak pace blood that's that's where their prime is so if yeah. you're quick at 21 your prime is 21 if you're quick at 18 your pace is 18 bro like that's mm -hmm. your prime rashford's prime yeah is right now blood furthermore yeah maybe he's he might even have lost half a yard with with some of the injuries he's had true you, yeah, you could yeah. argue that his prime is probably was probably like three years ago mm-hmm during COVID and stuff. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. that. Bellingham's in his prime right now, blood. Because he's in his physical prime. A lot of these players are so reliant. Jude Bellingham. Yeah. A lot of these players are so reliant, yeah, on their physicality that their prime is early, bro. The only players that peak late are the intelligent technical players, bro. Because with experience, they download more data and they become better. Mm. Rashford ain't, decision making ain't going to be better in, at 30 years old. He's been terrible his whole career and it's not going to get no better. He's not an IQ player. If you're not an IQ player, you can't peak late, bruv. Well, yeah, it's once impossible. You loses, once once you lose your physicality, you're finito, bro. Once Rashford loses his pace, he's going to decline massively. And that's when people will see what he really is. Because really and truly, if his IQ was, re was that good, yeah, or if he had any IQ, even if you lose the pace, you can still be like, all right, cool, you know what? I still got this and I can still play. That's why I got so much respect for Rooney, bro. Because when he lost his pace, Van Gaal just lo dropped him into midfield and was like, yo, you're going to even that, it was way past his prime that Rooney, though, blood. That Rooney in midfield was, oh, man. Like, is, if he wasn't Rooney, he wouldn't have been playing. And, and it's but it, I'm saying it was, it was still good, though. Ro no, it was, still, it was still bit, better than the average player, but it wasn't yeah. Man United. You know what I mean? Giggs, bro, mm. like, Giggs, Giggs lost half a yard, went into midfield, bossed it, fam. Like, Fact. You yeah. know, like that. Like, that's just what it is because Giggs an intelligent player, bro. Like, people don't realise how intelligent he is. Same with Luka Modric, bro. His prime span for over 10 years because he's intelligent, bro. You can't mm. have a long prime, yeah, if you're not an intelligent player because as soon as your body goes, you're finished. Finished, bro. Finished. And, and, and that's it is. And this is it. Martial ain't got pace no more, but he's still got the intelligence and the technical ability. So now... 100%. He's cu he's coming deeper, getting um he's getting on the ball, turning, pinning players. He never used to pin players. Now Martial's using his body and saying, "Yeah, pass me the ball, pinning players and stuff." He never used to do that. Rashford ain't got the the football IQ <laughs> or the technical ability to to change his game like that. Martial and used that to face players up one v one, trying to get past them. Yeah. Now he more pins them and he links. Rashford ain't got the IQ to change his game like that, bro. And that's why his prime has already gone, bro. Mm. That's that like in, in football, it's very important. Uh, apart from your physical, natural attributes, you've got to develop your brain. You have to develop your brain because otherwise, bro, football, football goes so quick. Yeah, in two years, there'll be another kid born somewhere in Brazil. He'll be bought by a Premier League team. He'll have ten times more pace than you, and people will forget instantly. Mm. I always go back to one of Henri's fam most famous videos when he was saying that Aclair Fontaine, yeah, when he was training over there. For that one training session, one of his managers was one of his coaches was like, "Yo, Thierry, today I want you to beat your man not using your pace." And all of a sudden, Thierry, Henri was stuck because he was like, "Yo, that's my best attribute. How do you want me mm. to beat your man? Beat my man? Do you know what I mean? Pause. How do you want me to do that?" So he had to develop other ways, whether it's the movement, whether it's you know asking for the ball a bit deeper, asking. You have to try and find yeah. other ways because well, sometimes it's just not moving <laughs> at all, blood. Not right? moving at all because you even with that you're making things happen around you so nah it, it, like i said with rashford it's too late now unless some tactical genius comes now to replace ten Hag and he teaches rashford some stuff mm. he's never seen unless that happens i can't see rashford improve bro i can't yeah. see that now man said that's why i'm laughing in disbelief in ten Hag says he, rashford hasn't is far from his rashford is far from his full potential in a sense that he should be a lot better than he is Yes. That doesn't yeah. mean he'll ever get there. It doesn't mean that. Do you know what I mean? So that's what far from his potential means. For me, yeah, without the brain, your potential is limited as a footballer. Like, it doesn't matter about physical. Physically, bro, he's one of the most blessed players in the league in terms of physicality, in terms of pace, in terms of all these other things. But none of that matters if you don't, if you don't have the mind. Like, none of that matters. And that's what differentiated Henri from all the other players that just had pace, is that he was intelligent as well. Do you know what I mean? Man said, and same with Ryan Giggs as well. Man said not every quick player needs to rely on pace. Not every one of them, but most of them do. Most of them, that's their identity. Yeah, their because identity they know is that, their that's, pace. That, that's that one thing that's going to bail them out of trouble. 
But that's I, what I mean. That's the one thing that always works. I just said like having pace works. in football is like the Deontay, the Deontay Wilder right hand, bro. If you know that nice. you can knock man out with a, if you got a one hit a quitter, bro. Why am I building up a jab and building up durability and building up my footwork when I know I just punch a man once and he's gone, blood? Do you know what I mean? It's just like why am I? I'm gonna keep doing what works until it doesn't work no more. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then when it doesn't work no more, then I need to find a plan B.